Okay, I'm going to narrate this one because this is 1958 B.C., before children. Here's Carolyn's mother and dad and her grandmother who have come down to visit us in Parker, Florida. And uh, this was probably sometime in uh, August of 58, not long after we'd been married. We were living in Parker, Florida, just outside of Tyndall Air Force Base. And uh, here we are. We've gone with Byron and Nett Ray and Carolyn's grandmother, her mother and dad. We're going to have a cookout over at St. Andrew Bay. It's on the intercoastal waterway. It's not out in the Gulf. So we were having a cookout. But uh, like I said, the reason I'm giving the audio on this is because the children didn't know about it. They don't know what's going on, so that's the reason I'm narrating. And there was Polly and her mother, and here's Ned. This is Polly's sister, Ned Ray. And uh, again, this is St. Andrew's Bay, right before you cross the Hathaway Bridge going to Panama City Beach. Okay, Byron's got the juice slapping it on the chicken and Bert's standing there twirling it around. The rest of us are just letting our mouth water and getting ready to eat it. We've seen these two guys do this quite a bit through the years. Either one of them cooking or the other one giving advice. Okay, there's old Bud with his crew cut. This is the sunset on St. Andrew's Bay, 1958. Here we are. The family has gone down to Panama City Beach, and here is Polly and Carolyn in the swings. This was just right at the what was the hangout. This is was the most popular place in the 50s and 60s that... Uh, was down at Panama City. It was the hangout. Everybody went down there to go to the hangout. And all it was was a slab of concrete where the kids would get in there and play music and bop and dance and whatever it was. But here we're going to get a brief look at the hangout. There's the hangout. They had a, a little bit of amusement. Okay, this is Chuck and Arnetta. And I'm, at this time, I'm not sure if they were married or not, but they eventually were married I could have been here I don't know but anyway this they were down there visiting his mother and dad and uh, now here's Polly and Bert doing the swinging thing but the hangout had a ferris wheel and one of those things he hit with a hammer to make the bell ring okay Bert and Byron had rented a, uh, a little trawler fishing trawler and all of us were going to go out and fish not deep sea but just out in the gulf to see what we could catch and uh here's captain byron he's on the minnow and there's first hand is bert and the rest of us are just sightseers flatland touristers and uh but we had a great time and uh we're about to have a little break here to do some more eating and uh, I want you to take notice of this swift move here Bud puts on Carolyn when she comes off right about here yeah got her off and got sugar and Arnetta jumps off on her own and here comes Betty Faye Ray here's Bud and Chuck bringing in the ice chest both of them had a hair back then. Here comes Captain Byron jumping off. Safely docked. And here comes first mate Bert. He's on land. Hello, Bert. And now we're going to do that cooking and eating thing again. Hey there, 
Grandma, Graham, Polly, Carolyn, Chuck, and Arnetta. Well, there's a car. I don't know where the car came from. Somebody drove it down there, I guess. But anyway, there's Rick. Okay, there's little Rick. He got a sand spur in his foot that day, and his daddy hypnotized him. Pulled it out. There's a, almost see a seagull. Okay, we've undertaken another cruise, and now we've come to a little pier, and we're going to take time to do a little bit of swimming. And uh, the ladies are getting ready to disrobe right here, and we're going to jump in the water. There comes Polly. She didn't wear her bathing suit. She's not going to swim. I don't know if Ned, I don't believe Ned got in the water either right here. But uh, I remember Carolyn and I did. Okay, all that fishing. Here's the one and only fish that we got all day long. And I snagged him in the eye. It was a mackerel. And uh, you can see how happy I was. I got a fish. But he just ran into the hook. And there goes the commercial fishing boat passing us by and all the sea gullets. Those things used to gang around the chow hall over at Timber. We was always kind of leery when they had chicken over there. We didn't know whether it was chicken or seagull. Okay, here we are back at our apartment. And uh, there's Bert and Polly's DeSoto and there's my 52 53 Ford Custom Line. I bought that car the day Carolyn and I got married. Went to Birmingham with Sam, my brother, and uh, we bought it and brought it back. And uh, we didn't go on our honeymoon in it. We used Dad 56 Ford to go on our honeymoon. But anyway, that was a pretty good old car. We made many trips to Panama City in that. There she is in there doorway of our little nest okay here we are over at Tyndall Air Force Base now and the uh, aircraft of course it was fairly open then you could go over there and get close to the airplanes in fact when we lived there we lived not far from the flight line okay that's a FPS 3 range finder radar set and that one is a FPS 6 height finder radar and uh, I was maintenance on both of those when I was in the Air Force. Okay, here we are back down at the beach again. We've made some quick trips and soaking up that sun. Of course, back then you didn't have to worry about getting burned. Didn't know what sunscreen was. Okay, we finally got in the water. And here are the honeymooners. Newlyweds. We did have a lot of fun. I remember that. There's Rick and Jim Ray. There's Ned and Byron. Notice there's hardly anyone else around down there, and that's the way it used to be after Labor Day in September. You wouldn't see anybody down at the beach. Even Bert got out there and got in it. And here's some sisters frolicking in the foam. Okay. We've brought Carolyn back home now. She's pregnant with Lane and brought her back to Gadsden. So she'll have the care of Dr. McCorkle. And uh, I'm loading up, getting ready to head back down to Tyndall. And uh, that's Shaggy, their dog there. And uh, here's Carolyn and Bud and Lane in the oven. And the dog was puddled. Every time you'd pet it, it'd pee. And this was probably sometime in uh, early spring of 59, or late spring of 59, I guess. Don't remember the date. But anyway.